darling, you're beautiful, gotta keep your head up. Never let anything bring you down, sunshine will always come around. Stay strong, move on, you have such a beautiful soul. Let your energy radiate. Hi everyone, welcome to Midday Mindfulness. Today is Wednesday, November 4th, and I just felt compelled to share with you part of my yoga practice last night, um, just bringing light into the body and maybe allowing that light to sort of expand out while still protecting a shell around ourselves so that we can only get the positive uh, loving energy to enter the shell. So we make a decision um, what enters our body, what enters our mind. And just with a few moments of breathing and imagination, we can sort of safeguard ourselves for the rest of the day and build up upon that for the rest of the week. So I'm going to invite you um, to just make any little movements that you need to make to settle yourself in to your seat. Um, I did some wonderful stretching last night. So just extending the arms over the head and really reaching out in all directions so that as we meditate and we create this golden orb and we surround ourselves with it and we are allowed to sort of imagine a gossamer shell protecting us, um, sort of like a two-way mirror, if you will. So without further ado, I'm just going to get right into the meditation and really invite you to close your eyes on this one. Sometimes it's easier just to imagine certain things when we're able to decompress, close our eyes, move out of the current space that we're in. So again, just closing our eyes and making sure that we're in a nice, comfortable position, whatever that may be. Notice the grounding sensation that we will always have with the earth beneath us. Whether that's standing on our feet, sitting in our chair, lying in our beds at night, or reclining on our couch. We can always seek that grounding comfort. And as we take a deep breath in through our nose, maybe just exhaling with a nice sigh out through the mouth. Inhaling again, really deep, opening up the belly, the chest, feeling the shoulder blades draw back and really opening up that heart space. And on the exhale, trying to keep that same height and same openness, pressing the belly towards the backbone to release all of the negative air and energy. And then I'm going to invite you to take your hands together and just sort of warm them up a little bit, warming up the palms. And if you're comfortable in doing so, taking the hands maybe about an inch away from the top of the head, the crown of the head, and just start to brush down the center of the face, maybe over the eyes with both of the palms, coming over the chin, the chest, and the belly and then finally brushing off with the legs and starting to make those movements a little bit quicker as if we're just brushing off just any energy that could be surrounding us. And it does surround our outer body. Sweeping out towards the feet and then eventually rising back up to the top of the head with the hands and now come over the sides of the head, over the ears, down the neck, just flicking off the shoulders with the fingertips, just flicking it off. Just feeling that brushing sensation, any stagnant energy that could be around us, just brushing that away. And then maybe taking the opposite hand and helping out the opposite arm by brushing away. About an inch off the body usually does it. No need to touch the body, but if you feel so inclined, it's your body. Sometimes we all need a little touch, especially these days. A little hug, a little self-love. When you feel sufficiently brushed, just allow yourself to take one more deep breath in as you settle back down. Nice long exhale out, making any kind of sounds out of the mouth that you need to make, whether that's a sigh, 
where you want to flutter your lips. Maybe it's a, just a nice gust of air. To settle into a natural breathing pattern as we take special attention to the chest, the center of the chest, the heart space. And imagine there is a golden orb or a golden ball right in there. It's shining brighter with each inhale. And each exhale, it seems to grow larger. So we're taking in the light and the energy to light up our golden orb. And we're able to release our energy, our positivity as the orb grows bigger and branches out. Feeling the warmth of this space. Again, if you feel the need to lift your shoulders, draw back the blades, opening up the chest, just a little bit more exaggerated today in our posture. Even if we're lying down or reclining, we can still imagine the shoulders drawing back and the heart space opening. Sometimes it helps to lift the chin just a little bit. Breathing in, feeling, seeing, sensing the golden orb getting brighter. And on the exhale, just growing a little bit larger, maybe beams just coming off of it, like you have a little sun inside of your chest. And as we breathe in, the orb grows brighter. And as we exhale, it grows further past the lungs, the backbone, the rib cage, until finally it's at the layer of our skin. Maybe imagining a little tingling or actually feeling a sensation in the body as we focus into that heart space, allowing it to open And as it does contract, an expansion of your golden orb. That golden beam of light is surrounding you through the front body, sides of your arms, your back body. As the beams project further and further out. Growing larger and larger until you're about a foot or two off of your entire body and maybe where your feet are, where you're sitting, you're supported by the base of this golden light. And on the next inhale, we're gonna do a really deep one through the nose, really slow and deep. And as we do so, start to imagine a gossamer shell surrounding you in that one or two feet off of your body and you're sitting at the base of the shell. And on the exhale, notice how the shell is permeable in a way where it can let out all of the golden light, all the warmth, all the love. It can pierce through the shell and reach out to the space around you, to the people around you, to the world around you, and even into the places where you've never been situations you don't know about, but you're still able to spread that light and that love out through yourself. Maybe the colors of the shell are a rainbow, maybe there's pinks and golds, just shimmering light, almost like a two-way mirror where it can be seen in but not out. allowing perhaps just the love and the positive energy to come through into your orb from the outer world, from the people around you, from just those little moments of joy that surround you. But any negativity, any fear, any angst that might be surrounding you, any anger, just seems to bounce off 
stays out of your space. So you continue to settle into a natural breathing pattern. Notice that warm sensation in the heart, maybe in the back heart, towards the back spine. As we breathe in, opening up the entire chest cavity, exhaling, again, at our own pace. Noticing the support and the sensation at the bottom of the body, your grounding. Feeling the crown of the head drawing up towards the top of the shell. Noticing maybe somewhere between the two eyebrows some sort of sensation of either pressure or opening. Maybe breathing into that spot as well so that we remain open-minded. We continue to seek information for the betterment of ourselves, for the people around us, the world around us. And once again, being able to repel any of that negativity, fear, uncertainty. Knowing that within our space that we create and that we give to others as we wish, as we choose, we can remain safe in knowing that we're grounded We're surrounded by love, positivity, and hope. And that no matter what, we'll be okay. Taking just a minute or two in your own breath. Drawing into attention to other areas of the body that may feel a little stuck a little stiff, or maybe just notice the opening and the relaxation starting to happen. Maybe the tailbone drawing down, allowing the lower back to just relax a little bit deeper into your seat or into your reclining position, into the ground. You. And if you're able to stand and do this practice, First of all, good for you. Second of all, noticing the stability from the right hip bone to the left hip bone. From the right side of the body to the left side of the body. Feeling yourself square and strong. Perhaps notice colors of your shell swirling around. Nothing is static, nothing is permanent. Even the beams of light sometimes shoot out just a little bit further moments of the day for us, depending on who we're with, what we're doing. And sometimes the beams of light within us seem to be a little bit more controlled than within. And that's okay. It's just a reminder, once again, of impermanence. And things will move and things will change. And we have the ability to make those decisions as to what we let in and what we give out. Again, a couple of more breaths here. So 
start to notice the sensation in the fingers and the toes, wiggling them out. Maybe even reaching our feet in front, if we can, or one foot at a time, just pointing our feet, flexing and pointing, rolling of the ankles, the wrists, feeling that openness, that roundness, that lubrication in our joints, fluidity within our cells. And if you want to take a nice big inhale, overstretch the hands up above the head. Oh, that's good. Maybe look up. Nice big circular orb arms to come down on your exhale. You can open up your eyes now. I thank you for joining me. I wish you peace for the rest of the day and the week. Until we meet again, have a good one and take care. Bye. Darling, darling, you're beautiful. Gotta keep your head up. Never let anything bring you down. Sunshine will always come around. Stay strong, move on. You have such a beautiful soul. Let your energy radiate.